Hi, I'm the founder and director for Common Knowledge Trust. And in the early 1970s, I worked with hundreds of families around developing skills to prepare our body for childbirth, as well as birth and birth coaching skills so that we could cope and manage and deal with and stay on top of and in control of our baby's birth, no matter where we birthed or with whom or what happened to us or around us. When I immigrated to New Zealand in the 90s, I put it into a charitable trust called Common Knowledge because we all blink, we all cough, and we can all tighten up down there. So we knew we shared common knowledge, and that foundation of common knowledge became even more stark, or, or we could see it more when we became pregnant, because 100% of pregnant women will give birth one way or another, and everybody wants to have a positive birth experience and we all want to feel in control of it. And fathers are desperate to know how to help. So both mothers and fathers develop the skills. And so what our trust has done, because we've been online since 2000, is to finally have technology catch up to us. <laughs> and we now have an online course in lessons, simple lessons. Some have eBooks, some have eBooks and video segments, and some are audio segments. And what you can do is either go through them in the order of the lessons, and we hope you start around 24 weeks when your mind is really, really clear and you know that you have about 16 weeks left before you birth your baby. Or you can skip around and fill in the gaps. If you're thinking to yourself, my goodness, how do I deal with pain? Then go to the resources about the hows and whys of pains and how to cope with it. If your issue is, I need breathing skills, then go to those skills as well. So we have stories about who you are as an individual, where you birth, what type of birth you want, or the one that you're terrified of, why it's so important to become skilled for your baby's birth. And then we have the practical skills and the video segments on how to create space in your body, how to create mobility and softness. And then we have the softer skills like teamwork, what to do if you're feeling very negative about your birth or if you have a niggling labor. And then we have two audios. One is how to prepare inside your baby's birth canal so that you dilate faster and your baby doesn't get stuck and you don't have a delay. And the other one is to practice the breathing to contractions. And if you're going to have a non-laboring cesarean or if you have an unplanned cesarean, you'll have the skills to use on the way to the hospital. That's your labor while being prepped. That's your transition and during your baby's birth of the surgery. Or you will continue to use your skills when you move from labor to being prepped and then into surgery. And many of these skills are life skills that you'll use for years afterwards. So we hope you'll enjoy the resource. We've spent a lot of time perfecting it for you and it's given to you with the love of all the hundreds of families who develop these skills.